Tim, let's just first get some thoughts on this road trip for you. Your first experience here. Uh, how are things going? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, we are really tight groups, so we have a lot of fun. Um, we just enjoy the days uh, on and off the ice, and uh, I think we started pretty good uh, with win against Dallas, and we played a really good game there. Uh, what did you like the most about that game, other other than the result? Uh, yeah, I think we like the whole game. We just worked really, really hard. Uh, we back checked so hard. We were tracking them. They had no room, and uh, I think yeah, Gus was uh, outstanding and. Um, he kept us in the game uh, for the most part if they had really good chances. So um, I think just over everybody was playing really well and uh, you could see that on the ice. Uh, so Tim, obviously this Chicago team is winless so far. How do you make sure that you don't, you know, you don't overlook that and remain focused on what you guys have to do? Um, yeah, I mean, everybody knows they have so many really good players on the team. So it um, doesn't matter the score sheet or something. Um, every team in the NHL is a really good team. Every team has really good players. So... We just got to keep playing our game. It doesn't matter what they, the score is for them. Uh, we should have won a couple more games maybe even. So it's the same way for us. And um, I think, yeah, like I said before, we, we watched the games uh, Chicago played. And I think they should have deserved one or two wins and um, or maybe even more. So um, you never know what's going to happen. And they try to win, obviously, every game. Uh, just announced a short while ago, Drake Patterson was the NHL second star of the week after uh, six points in two games. Uh, just a quick comment on his week. Um, yeah, I mean, I think he's such a good player. Like, uh, every time you watch him in practice, he's making plays all over the ice. And uh, in my opinion, he really deserved that. And uh, yeah, this week he got the pucks in, in the net. And um, I mean, just to watch him play every day and every night and uh, watch him skate around and just loving the game is just uh, fun to watch. So um, I'm really, really happy for him. And uh, I couldn't think of anybody else who deserved it more than him. Uh, DJ was saying that he feels like in the last couple of days of practice, uh, you might, you're really feeling it. He thinks that it, it's going to come for, for you. How have you felt just the last couple of days here? Because I know it's a little bit awkward with the schedule, uh, not, not playing at all in the weekend. Um, yeah, I mean, I just try to be the best I can in every practice or in every game I play. So in the end, I haven't scored yet, but I think uh, I played really well the first couple of games. So, um, I mean, I'd rather play really good than not score and like have a bad game, make like more turnovers and stuff and then score. So um, I just to, to play a full game and play my get better every day in my 200 feet games. So, um, yeah, that's what it's all about now. And uh, we won against Dallas. That's the most important. And uh, hopefully I get on a score sheet for sure. Um, do you look at shots on goal and do you feel like, I think it's 11 shots in seven games. Is that a number that needs to increase? Or are you happy with just, again, you've generated a ton, you've set up a lot. You're OK with, with that aspect. Um, I mean, I think it's not only about shots for me. Like, I just create as many chances as I can. And um, I think most part of the uh, shots I had were high danger scoring chances. So. I mean, I just uh, try to make plays every time I get the puck and uh, maybe not shoot it every time, maybe make a more, more pass. But um, in the end, um, I think we would have deserved uh, way more goals um, than, than we have. And um, it will go in, like for sure it will go in. Uh, we always talk about it. It's going to even out. And um, I mean, I just try to play my game and um, yeah, I think it's going to happen.